Okay, welcome back. Um, let's now add some of the details that we just uh, we just made. So I'm going to come in here and make sure that your brushes are all loaded. Those should be down here, all the ones you've created. If they're not, go to load brushes and then locate where your Pixelogica folder is and go into the start up and brush presets drag across them all of them and then click open and they'll appear in the gra in the tablet in the uh, palette down here so I picked uh, square one which I'm going to be using a majority of I've set the intensity to 39 but let's just test it I've got the subdivision level up to maximum and I'm just going to drag it on the surface and that's quite nice so I'm going to put one there. Don't don't put too many. It looks a bit ridiculous um, if you put too many in. You just want to put them in the corners. Uh, but you'll notice that they're kind of pixelating because of the dash, the mesh uh, density. Well, you can get round this because we're going to have very serious problems down this area. Look, you can see it's not showing at all. So to get round that problem, what we can do is use a new feature to ZBrush which is ZBrush 4 um, and this is the divide the geometry so you've got a geometry HD tab so we click divide on this I know I've got to divide at least three times to capture the detail that I need which would take us into millions high millions of polygons So if I now divide, I'm up to 2, and I divide again, it will take me up to 3. Now wherever I am with my brush on here, it will actually sculpt a region. So you need to press A, and it will target in on this area, where the brush is. So A on the keyboard and it'll give you this circle and this circle is the limit of your HD drawing and it does this so that um, it can handle this many polygons it basically just does area by area so now on this very bad area if we click the brush you'll notice that we've got a really sharp let's just increase the brush size of this so you can see just how sharp there you go and it's so sharp it's even showing the square underneath because I've got it too big so what I will do is go up to alpha I'll just take my radial to about 2 and then I'll come in and that's perfect but when we exit this it will take it back down so I press A again to exit and you'll see that it's gone back down and if I press the sculpt HD here or press A over this area so I'm pressing A again to turn off sculpt HD and then I'm going to press A to turn this area on and voila that has gone nice and sharp again of course I'm just previewing it so I need to exit out and now I'm back in there I can sculpt sharp so if you have a problem um, you can always use the HD now when it's rendered out when you render the displacement and the normal maps it will render out at the HD quality so you don't have to worry about that We can turn HD in the preference in the render preferences. We turn HD geometry. It activates it there. So if you, if you don't turn that on, then it won't activate um, it when it renders out your displacement normal map. So you need to turn it on in there. So that's uh, HD rendering, which is a very powerful feature. Allows you to get really really um, good detail on all this stuff. Really sharp detail. Um, and divide the the mesh even further 
but for this tutorial we're just going to go ahead and, and that's another thing sorry I just meant to point out is that you if you've got X symmetry turned on you've got to make sure that uh, you're working in the same area uh, you, you've actually got it because the, where the preview was for the circle as you can see doesn't come onto this area so if I drew here for instance it wouldn't appear here because it's out of that area so that's there you go so you can see so you've got to be really careful when using the the sculpting the HD sculpting there so okay using your brushes just go around the model and detail it where you think it needs detailing also if you like you can add extra panels at this point you might want some panels on one side and not the other so maybe turn the uh, the symmetry off there use the use the masking technique or um, or a drag rectangle like this to create some little panels and of course use the inflate button which you learned earlier to just create a few of these little panels in here smooth them off if you don't want them to be too too apparent so basically uh, yeah just do all the detailing there and have a look in the next lesson where I will have done my detailing on my model and we're then ready for poly painting uh, by the way you could actually put um, textures over this model I could go into something like the standard brush I could grab one of these textures which again you could create in Photoshop and would we'll choose a drag rectangle the intensity lower I could drag these this in there if you want the metal to be this kind of bumpiness or you can go into Photoshop and create your own so I should actually show you that now so I will uh, right we'll open Photoshop up I'm gonna do a quick document of 500 by 500 and it can be as big as you like really but remember rendering it won't pick it up very well we'll come in here I'm gonna select um, a brush draw a few little bits and bobs on here however you like turn the flat to 100 make it a bit bigger increase this size so it doesn't really matter what it is at the moment it's just showing you then what I do is I go into layer and you can do this on a separate layer if you want by going to image adjustments and I invert this as a layer then I'll save it as a Photoshop file I'll just call it patch save it like that come into Photoshop and I want to import Let's go to my desktop and I import that patch and now I can actually go into my alpha and do some adjustments here I could inverse it if I wanted to or um, and this is a good thing to do is make sure maximum range is on and use the RF radial you can see it's just radialing it in and then you can drag it out and you can create some really weird effects with this so play around with that as well we're going to cover that in more detail as I'm going to do um, a course on on every sort of aspect of ZBrush uh, separate little units like um, Z spheres creating a Z sphere based model um, doing these textures but this course is basically going through everything uh, rapidly uh, to get you sculpting quickly there will be some more full courses like this um, showing hard surface modeling, surface um, organic modeling, creating busts, um, doing turntables for show reels. We'll be covering all of those kind of things. But this is really the main course on ZBrush 4 on how to use kind of everything at a rapid, fast pace.
so see you in the next lesson where we'll uh, look at the detailing that I've done on my model and also the start to poly paint the model before we move on to UV unwrapping and uh, look at that I'm just going to use the UV unwrapping that's actually built into ZBrush 4 via a plugin that I downloaded from Pixelogic's website called UV Master and I'm going to use that to give me human readable uh, UVs um, and we'll look at the other types of UV mapping that uh, ZBrush has as well but uh, we'll be using that one um, but I'll also be discussing with you why it might be better to use other programs like um, Maya's uh, UV um, UV system or like Hedus uh, layout, UV layout one of their systems to have greater control over the different elements okay see you in the next lesson